Nah, I know everybody wants that defense that will hold somebody to less than 100 yards of Madden. I know everybody wants that defense that will first turn all this. And these are the simple things that you do on defense that will change your whole entire game. As you see, we lost this game because our quarterback was throwing picks, but we didn't even let up 50 yards. Like, this defense will really take away everything. That's another, that was du playing two on two more squads. This is playing a normal game. It's 19 to 2 in the second quarter. He is not scoring, and everything is just boxed. Drag route to the crib. Like, I'm going to show y'all a man coverage that y'all can play out of nickel. And I'm going to show y'all a 3 4 y'all can play. Both of these are amazing for the pass and the run. 3 4 is obviously stronger on the run. But I'm going to just show y'all some clips that just shows how dominant this defense really is. No matter if it's a pass or it's a run, screen or whatever, bubble, whatever. We got. Like, we, we're on everything. Now, the biggest thing that you have to make sure you're able to do is that when you are, um, if when you do play man coverage, you don't just run the base cover two man or base man coverages. Make sure you have certain zones in certain areas. Like, as you've seen right there, I come out and cover two man. That is my main defense I come out in. But as you see, I'm doing things. Now y'all see I got two cloud flats, one on the right and the left. So that stops out routes, corner routes on both sides. And then my user plays the whole middle. And then I put over top so they don't get beat deep. Now as y'all see here by situation, I put a hard flat for a drag route. And I put a hook hook for a slant. Because you, you feel me, you don't know what could come. But in a short situation, they're going to go for short yards more or less. That's the game we got to take, and it works. He didn't get the first down. And in a closed game, when you get a stop, you always want to take a shot. So I took my shot. Now I'm going to give you all this, too, in, the, in another video. The amount of one-play touchdowns in my playbook is crazy. So I'm going to give you all a little snip right there, but trust me, it's coming. But this really will box everything from the pass to the run. I'm going to show y'all what it looks like. I'm going to show y'all a playbook and all that. Right now, I'm just showing y'all a clip and showing y'all how offense, defense can really turn into points on offense. Like, look, another one-play touchdown. Like, it's crazy. But the thing is, this doesn't only work for just mutt. This is all mutt clips right here. I have a regs clip coming up, but it works on mutt. I don't want to say drafts because I don't. Draft is harder because you don't really know what playbook you're gonna get in draft. But when you can pick your playbook and you can you can go against someone and have them a one for three for negative three yards and two picks, like that's wild. And as y'all see, I have two cloud flats. I put my right safety in a cloud flat. I put my left outside linebacker in a cloud flat. And I put over top and inside shade. And a big thing that oh hold on. As you see, I started to cover two men. I switched them both. And a big thing with someone motions, a lot, a lot of people don't know, you need to re-overtop them or re-inside them or they won't do it. And another thing, it's the player that is guarding someone. If the player who is motioning, if the player who's guarding the bull who is motioning doesn't move, you need to click on him or click off real quick and he'll start sprinting and follow him. Now, this is the 3-4 defense with the cloud flat and the hard flats. As you see, I use that. Gotta pick him with a little right, left, spin move, juke, juke. Ah, to the crowd. Ah! <laughs> Let me run that back for you guys so I can see that 3 4 again. Now, this is cover 4, drop show 2 out of 3 4. You go underneath so both your curl flats turn to hard flats. And you click on the linebacker and push right, left stick to the right on both of them. And that puts them in, cur in curl flats. And then you use it as safety. Over the top. Now I'm about to take it to the practice to show y'all what it looked like. You want to use a Pittsburgh defense that is not my offensive playbook, but the pit, the defensive playbook that I run is Pittsburgh.
All right, so first you want to go to your course adjustments. You always want your curl flat at 25, your flat on zero. And if you run the 3 4, put your hook curl on 15 or 10. Now, I'm going to show you how the man first, so the hook does not matter. You want to put option defense on conservative. This on overall or speed. It, I usually pick overall because they have good route running. And, you're versus, and it's a corner who's only fast and not good overall. Then it's a bad matchup. But, so I usually go overall, and I always said play ball because I'd rather get a pick. But if you rather just get deflections, go swap ball. If you just want to make sure he don't catch it, go play receiver. But I always play ball. And then, where's the formation? So nickel, I I always sub in, take out your linebacker on the right and put in the free safety. It does not matter his overall. He's going to have a better coverage than any of them. And then just knowing football, you want Devin Bush and over Silver for coverage. And then you come out and cover two man. And he's ready to play for them. Now you're going to want to put your outside linebacker on a curl flat and your safety on a curl flat. And you want to go inside leverage and over top. And you want to pinch your line. Pinching your line makes it so all them inside zones and stuff are right here. Now if it's a passing set and he's a running quarterback, then spread your line and run pinch. But if it's not like that and it's a running set, this could be a run or a pass, then pinch your line. Now, depending on the situation, if the bull likes to run drags, put a hard flat. If he likes to run slants, put a curl or an in, slants or in on the backside, put a curl. But always start out with the base curl flat. That takes away if this bull runs a corner route, an out route, any of that. He will be right here to help. Now, with this formation, you usually want to move your corner in a little bit. Because if he runs that post and he starts on that left side, then that's going to hurt you. But... This is the main thing I run out of my man coverage. If you could also run it like this and have them take away the left side yourself, the left side alone, and you take away the right side, that will also work. But I like to have a zone on both sides, and I just take away the whole middle of the field. Um, like If you want to have a hard flat on both sides, you can't just put hard flat on a safety. So you have to go underneath coverage. And that would take them down to a hard flat. And then if you want it, the corners to still play over top, though, you need to go back to over top. It will say cloud flat, but they're still going to play the same distance that you put for your flat. So it'll still be at zero yards. And it will still stop all the drags, zig routes, and all that. Because if a person is exposing the zig route against a man, then you need to have a cloud flat on the field. You just need to. And... They curl those ends that where they run across the whole field. Once they get to a certain part of the field, it cuts it off. This takes away zigs, screens, hashes, not, zigs, flat routes, hashes. Uh, helps them to run a lot, bubbles, all that. So then you want to go to 3 4. You want to go down the cover 4, drop show 2. Here we go. And then you, this is the base. You hit triangle, Here hit underneath. That puts both of them on alpha like that. And then you click X on the player. Left stick to the right on both of them. And that takes you on those. You pinch the line. Now if they come out in an obvious pass like this. You spread them so they can do the... um, So they can contain easier. And you usually want to use the opposite side of the pass strength. So pass strength is usually wide receiver, one of the more wide receivers. There's four wide receivers here. You want to use it this side because the chances that he runs a, a quick scene against your user, we need to watch other things as well, are lower because there's no one on this side. And if he runs a post, this corner should follow him. This corner is basically manned up backside. So this, you can take away all these inner routes, especially because of the strong safety, free safety, these are the fastest people on the field. Take all these Texas drags, all these away. Usually a drag to continue right here. And then this boy right here will take care of him. And this takes away everything. This is also amazing on the run. And he's running heavy out of, and you're in this defense. Take him out of the curl flat. Or, no, no, no. T keep him in the curl flat. Take him out of the hard flat. And then he'll just have to, either, you have to adjust it by the way he plays it. If he starts exposing that little hard flat missing. Or you just have to play the curl flat and have him come down and make the tackle. But this right here should stop the run all on the right side of the field. 
and then you just got to use it on the left side. So the three, this is the cover four, cover four drop show two, or cover two drop show four one two, uh, out of the three four and pit. I don't know how to buy five DB, DBL A gap, and you just you have to press in this so you can't throw no quick jump. You can do over the top if you want, so there's no press physically. They bail instantly, but you have to start out close. I'm blitzing my user so I can run around, but I know what man I'm guarding, and this will automatically free up TJ Watt to come off the edge and make the sack. If TJ Watt's not free, Highsmith will be free. If the formation they're in right now, TJ Watt will be wide open for the sack in a second or two. It's a guaranteed sack on on these, this play. If you really feel if you're feeling shicey, that's where we go. But anyways, I'm out of here. I'm going to show you how to do this soon, too. <laughs> but I'm out of here. Let me know if you have any questions.